Well, hello there, Minecrafters. Today we have a special treat. We're actually going to look at um, a, a texture pack that has two packs to it, <laughs> as far as that makes sense. But of course, I'm talking about Steel Feathers' design of the Assassin's Creed inspired. Um, well, how do we say it here? I'm going to try my best here. Assassini Costruttori. Um, of course, it comes with two, or they're separate packs, but he's he's made, uh, or she, Steel Feathers has made two uh, two different packs. One is the sort of Assassin's Creed II Rome-inspired architecture, and uh, the second one is the sci-fi in the Animus um, version. And I haven't seen these yet, so. This will be uh, my first impressions. Once again, we're playing with the uh, one of the newest snapshots. This includes the redstone uh, blocks. Let's load this up here. So it's possible they may not have uh, the newer blocks in it. We're playing on um, 13... Oh, I see here. We have a different font already. And, ooh, we have... Um, so we're popping up there. We're having uh, the assassin's kind of symbol pop up there. Let's load it into the game. But we're playing with 13W06A, I believe, in this version. Um, this one does take a little bit longer to... Well, actually, it's not bad. So I see the cursor's uh, definitely different. Um, well, let's, let's see if our, our guy has changed. So our guy... Steve is still kind of Steve, but maybe once we put some some armor on, we'll look like one of the assassins. Uh, so through the door, we're going to check out the inventory items, and already we see some unique textures on this. This is the emerald and the beacon, and it's raining, and rain looks the same. Uh, so let's go in here and we. Okay, so a lot of them are still default, but he, there are some very interesting. <laughs> Stone sword is a is one of the clubs or mace or whatever, and a knife. Okay, all right. Let's put some. Let's put. Okay, so we have. We got a sword or a, a knife, which is actually a gold sword, but it's a knife. Diamond sword. Let's take a look at some of these things here. Okay, and our armor is the same, so we won't bother with that. But we have um, okay. Let's let's take a look here. So this is the what is this? This is the stone sword. Very cool. A lot of detail in the weapons. Love the bow. Doesn't that look phenomenal? Boom. Okay, diamond sword. Cool, cool. And little... <laughs> little knife there. Okay. Alright, let's... um. It's like a throwing knife or something. Let's look at some of these objects here. Dies looking the same. So this is obviously a work in progress. Um... A lot of these little items have not been changed. There's some redstone stuff. I like that nether, that nether, nether brick, or is that nether rack? I think it's a yeah, nether rack. Very, pretty cool. Okay, let's move on to, uh, well, let's load up the menu here. So, the uh, search items. Some items have been, ooh, we're missing quite a few, eh? All right, let's uh, let's get out of here. Let's move on to one of my favorite rooms in this map, which is my personal map, is the art gallery. And uh, font is different. Art gallery. We're gonna head over. These are redstone lamps, and that is gold. Uh, diamond floor. Very nice. And oh yes, love it. Absolutely love these are paintings. These are every painting in the game, and uh, if you uh, download my map, you can see the difference between everything. But 
definitely got much, much nostalgia from this Assassin's Creed. Love, love every game that has ever come out for it. And it's got that Renaissance, Da Vinci type uh, look to it. Of course, those are glass. Um, da Vinci's flying machine. Very cool. Like, really like the paintings. Let's move on to uh, our farming plants and all that. Grass and mycelium. Quite a difference for mycelium. I'm not sure if that's... Oh, I think that's supposed to be hay. You know, you jump in the hay... Uh, the wagons with hay. Mushrooms looking very similar. Trees. Ooh, leaves look great on that spruce. Actually, the leaves look great all around. Very, very nice looking trees. Um, lava's looking the same. Nether brick. Fire's looking the same. Okay. And there's a redstone block. So this, this pack uh, I've converted with the unstitcher. And uh, does not have the new redstone blocks. But that's alright. We're just going to look at what he's done so far, or what Steel Feathers has done. Grass. Veget Flowers are very nice, and that's the thing Italy's known for. Um, you know, it's it's art, so to have something very beautiful in the pack, as far as uh, vegetation, plants, flowers sort of thing that that fits the Assassin's Creed very well. Mushrooms looking cool. You st see, you stand back and it looks three-dimensional. Like it looks, the shading is very nicely done. And then you go up and you see it's angled very, very well done. Cobweb. Oh, the torches are like uh, candles. Very cool. Of course, the ladder. Iron doors like an iron gate. Love that. Very cool. Trap door. Definitely feels Assassin's Creedy over there. Assassin's Creedy. Yes, I just said Assassin's Creedy. Water and ice. Nothing really different about that. I mean, it's a different pack, but nothing uh, overly crazy about it is what I meant to say. All right, let's move into the redstone room. Of course, our blocks are still the same. Um, oh, the new blocks are still the default. Spencer, cool. And that's oh, I can't remember. That's the uh, one of the gangs there in um, was a Brotherhood. That symbol there. Pistons. Lamp on and off. Okay. Repeater. Delay sensor is the same. There's our redstone ore. Okay. Alright. Oh, even the tripwires, he's been changed. Little details like that. Very cool. Of course, if you're going to put out a pack, the mine cards look the same. If you're going to put a pack uh, out a pack and uh, you want people to be impressed by it, you're going to put the time into it. Take a ride on the minecart here, so you can see the powered rails there. And... Huh, I'll have to fix that. Okay, so we have a hole in the roof. <laughs> uh, note block, okay. Cool, cool. So there's our different types of rails. So far, it's it, it, the nice thing about this pack is it's it's not intrusive on the eye, but it's it's uh, interestingly enough to play with. It's uh, of course he warns uh, or Steel Feathers warns us that the the second part of the pack uh, doesn't quite look as good unless it's intentionally done. In t the map is intentionally done that way with the pack. Well, we'll get to part two after this one. So the wood looks really well done. I really like the wood. The wood uh, is some of the best wood I've seen in texture packs. 
grass and dirt and gravel and clay in our sponge block that nobody bothers doing because I don't even think it's in the game. Chiseled sandstone. So here's our glass. It's a uh, kind of a cagey type look. I'm not sure those books are symbolic of anything, but yeah, I'm not gonna bother going. Oh, so the jack o' lantern has a little circle on it versus the pumpkin. Okay, I'm not gonna bother going into look at every block. You can obviously download the Maya uh, map and check out uh, check out uh, any texture texture pack you want. I'm just gonna toggle this uh... I'm just gonna turn this rain off. It's driving me crazy. Cake. I'm not sure what that is. Is that a loaf of bread? Uh, you can uh, download this map and look at any texture pack you want. And if it's an older version, because this is the uh, this is for the new updates. Um, looks like you can uh, you can use the unstitcher and update the files that Dinnerbone put out. Dinnerbone put out. I like the cauldron, that's sharp looking. And looks like there's a texture error with the anvil there. Not sure. Not sure what's going on with that one. That's the very damaged anvil. Uh, the mob heads look the same. So. It's possible the mobs haven't been touched in the game, although it'd be cool if uh, they looked like the guards in the game. And some of these might be errors to... Uh, it might be a problem because we're dealing with um, converting the pack. And eventually... Uh, eventually, a lot of the texture uh, pack makers We'll have all the new blocks, and it's just that it's a newer, a newer uh, style, a newer update. So you know they're scrounging around trying to get the get the um, newer blocks out. I like the emerald; it's definitely cool. Actually, every one of these, every one of these orb, like the actual blocks, very sharp looking. Very Renaissance architecture, almost uh, Roman Catholic, you know, well, exactly what Assassin's Creed is about, right? Oh, the yellow wool's the hay, yes. Very cool. Nice touch. You need the hay, definitely. Um, okay, so now we are going to the mob displays, my other favorite room. And we have our villager who looks the same. Our pig looks the same. See the cow. Uh, now this is a suggestion. Um, unless they add horses, and there probably are modded horses. I don't play modded games, but Assassin's Creed they have horses. You could make the cows look like horses, I guess, unless you don't want to mess with a mod. Uh, what do we got? Ocelots. Probably nothing there. Yeah. So I'm assuming the mods, uh, the mobs have n not really been touched. Um, squids. Pig in the saddle. Hello. Uh, golem, okay. And let's check out the wither skeleton. Yes. It, oh. Yep, he's the same. So it doesn't appear that the the mobs have been uh, changed in any way. I would suggest um, maybe making them look like soldiers, at least the humanoid ones. I like that nether nether fence, nether brick fence. Um, oh, he's got the. See, that's cool. He's got the little knife there throwing knife uh, but making the the aggressive mobs blazes 
look like the soldiers or uh, I don't know I don't know what you could do with it just to make it feel more like Assassin's Creed because have they changed I don't know if they look different or not uh, a lot of the joy I get from looking at texture packs is definitely the the different mobs see the skeletons you could totally make look like uh, soldiers Guards, rooftop guards, whatever. Creepers are the same. Yeah, I'm gonna assume they're all the same. Uh, which is they're the same. Okay, so that is the uh, part one of our Assassini uh, whatever Assassin Builder texture pack by Steel Feathers. So. Uh, <clears throat> Be sure to check out part two with the uh, Animus version. And uh, but as far as this one goes, thanks for watching. Definitely uh, leave a comment on uh, the the texture pack uh, creators uh, forum post because they really don't get enough thanks for what they do. But uh, be sure to check out part two, and I'll link it in the description, and you can see the Animus version of this.